This episode of Liquid Ladder was brought to you by Filmora 10. Fast food played a major role in my life as a young man, a young boy becoming a man. Fast food was like a second father to me. When I would go out with my parents, I'd always ask them to stop at McDonald's and get me three supersized fries. You probably don't even know what that word means, supersized. It's an unfathomable word to the modern age human being. But back in the late 90s, early 2000s, supersize was a huge deal for McDonald's. It was a level above large. It was a transcendent state for the food to be in. It was about as big as four squirrels standing on top of each other, like with their little feet on each one's shoulders, like all standing up in a totem pole. They were absolutely massive. It, honestly, it was probably against the Geneva Convention to even sell supersized orders from McDonald's because it was literally a criminal amount of calories you were consuming. And I'd always finish every last morsel. There wasn't a molecule of french fry left by the time my gluttony was done with it. So now that I've given you my resume, what we'll be doing today is hitting the major fast food chains in our area and figuring out which one has the best possible number one order. Classic waffle fries. The, the PDQ is wonderful right now. The fries were really slapping. I'm going in on the chicken. I think I'm safe. It's really good. Mmm. Oh my. That is a number one in its best. So first up was naturally going to be PDQ, People Dedicated to Quality. This isn't a massive fast food chain, but it's actually one of my favorites. When I do get fast food, I typically just go to PDQ. We cheated a little bit. I'll go ahead and just rip the condom off now and hit you with the bad news. There is no number one from PDQ. It doesn't exist. If you ask for a number one there, they treat you like a psychopath flat earther. So there is no number one. We cheated a little bit and just got the most generic meal from PDQ, which is the three tender meal. And it's just an easy S tier. From this day forward, the three tender meal shall be known as a number one, at least in our book. And it's definitely S tier. Really, everything from PDQ is just great. Even the water tastes like I'm drinking Angel's Tears. It is just so hydrating. Uh, it's probably fortified with extra electrolytes. I wouldn't be surprised if they had some kind of fountain of youth at a PDQ facility. Because it is just, everything there is so good. I bet you were just thinking to yourself, wow, the editing in this liquid ladder is particularly high quality. I would like to know how to master editing to this level of professionalism. Well, then you should definitely look into Filmora 10. A lot of people often ask me, as uh, the video editor here on Penguin Z Zero, how they should get started if they want to edit videos. Recently, a brand new piece of software has released called Filmora 10. Filmora 10 is a great, light piece of software designed to make video editing as intuitive and easy as possible for newcomers while sacrificing none of the important tools. You'll have a vast suite full of effective video editing tools at your fingertips, tools that you usually find in other expensive professional programs. Tools such as motion tracking, keyframing features, color match, audio ducking, and even more. These are all tools that you can easily learn how to use and get a feel for in order to create the perfect video. It really is the best way to get your feet wet, and with the wonderful sleek, light interface of Filmora 10, it's never been easier. Make video editing fun, easy, and exciting by using Filmora 10 now. Click the link in the description to try it out now. So if you're interested in Filmora 10 and really taking your creations to the next level, click the link in the description below to get started on Filmora 10. About the way, so I have to order. Hey, could I just get a uh, number one with a Coke, please? Sure, would you like that large size? Uh, no thanks. With a Coke? Well done. Easy. They have no idea what we're even using that number one for. I was so nervous. Yeah. We'll start with the thing I'm absolutely not looking forward to, which is the Coke. Yep, that tastes like what I remember. Ooh, they double stack these bad boys, huh? Oh, God. Show it, show it to the camera real quick. Mm-hmm. Nice. Matt, this rental truck is gonna, I it's gonna, gonna be say, a I've got to vacuum the shit rough out of this. shape. Mm. Very amateurish. The lettuce overpowers everything else. It's just like a lettuce burger. Gotta tell you boys, 
just tastes like eating a gas station salad. Maybe the fries can save the meal. Mm, very flimsy. Look at that. Let me, let me get in there. Yeah, go ahead. Very limp dick noodle type fries over here. There's no passion in these. I can taste the hate that they cooked with this. I gotta tell you, McDonald's is looking like a C tier. I was expecting more from the number, the, the number one here. I hadn't had McDonald's in an extremely long time, and I certainly hadn't had a Big Mac in even longer, and both were just significantly more underwhelming than I was expecting, especially the Big Mac. The Big Mac was like 80% lettuce and 20% frozen toilet water. Just really lackluster stuff. Um, could I get the uh, number one without a drink? So you did not get the Supremes, right? Well, that's ruined. Where's that room? I just smashed the entire taco. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, no, I got regular. I can tell you I am not a fan of hard shell tacos. I've always preferred soft. But I'm willing to experiment. Well, we'll go. I had initial concerns with this much lettuce. Again, it looked like it would suffer the same fate as the number one from McDonald's, just too much lettuce, but works really well here. I will say there's like two tiddly winks of meat in here though. There's like nothing. So that's a little disappointing, but at least the shell's good. Let me try another taco. Check for consistency. Mm -hmm. I will tell you, it came with a sticker that said sealed for you, but it wasn't sealed. That is true. Oh. Throw a spit in it. Ooh, this looks like a much better taco. Agreed. Wow. This one had actual heart into it. There's so much lettuce on my floor. I will say, it's not bad. It's not great. I'm just going to give it right in the middle. I'm giving it a B. Really, you manhandled that taco. <laughs> you just took it out angry, ready to go. <laughs> yeah, I had a grudge with that one, apparently. There's much more lettuce on this side than that there side. There's meat in there at all. You know, here, we'll, we'll get to the bottom of it. There, There's a little meat in there. Let's, let's give it a go. Hmm. Everything else, you're, you're entirely right. Non-offensive. Nothing special. The lettuce is a little <laughs> overbearing again. The meat's fine. I, I mean, I made fun of you, but I completely agree. It's just there's nothing to say about if it. If I had that in a desert, I'd be happy I had food, but kind of disappointed it wasn't PDQ. Yeah, honestly, like PDQ, like if I was about to be strapped on a desert, like a deserted island, mm -hmm. and I could only bring one food, it'd be PDQ. PDQ. Yeah, absolutely. And if I got Taco Bell, I'd be like very upset. I'd kick sand. No, I, I'm actually with you. That wasn't. I once again, kind of like McDonald's. I haven't had it in a long time and I thought it would be better. Yeah. The Taco Bell number one was a lot like the Avatar movie from James Cameron. It's just super forgettable. Uh, that's like, I, I don't even remember eating it now. Like this was just filmed and I don't even remember eating Taco Bell that day. It's like trying to remember a dream you had a week ago. It's just so forgettable. It's the second you finish the number one from Taco Bell, you forget that you even ate anything and then you'll plan your next meal because you just totally fucking forgot about it. I wouldn't be surprised if your body forgot about it. Like the calories you eat from the number one just disappear in your body. But I mean, it's not bad. It wasn't great. I think B tier is probably a little generous. I'm just going to bring it down to a C because there's really nothing good about it, nor is there anything bad about it. Uh, could I get a uh, number one without a drink? Oh, I forgot Wendy's even has french fries. Holy shit. That's exciting. These look good. These look like great fries. Those do look good. Mmm. Not as good as PDQ, but pretty good. The fresh, never frozen beef. Oh, wow. That looks wonderful. Let's see if all that marketing on Twitter actually indicates quality. Yeah, it's pretty good. The square patties, innovative. I like the uh, unique spin on an old classic. 
No, it's good. That's just like straight up good. Bun's much less spongy mm -hmm. than it was at McDonald's. That's nice. It's nice. All right. Looks like there's some mayo on there. There's a little bit of mayo. A little secret sauce. It's got a lot of flavor, huh? That's a lot better. Yeah. Danny, oh, it's kind of the bat symbol now, Danny. I don't think there's room for you to bite unless you want to try it, but no, there's a lot more meat to filling ratio than the others. You want to bite, Danny? No, I'm good. Thanks. Let's get it. No, no, Danny, get in here. Come on, be <laughs> part of the family. Matt Filman. Right, switch. He said, Danny came in here saying Wendy's is the worst fast food he's ever had. No, <laughs> no, I think Burger King is the worst. Oh, right. Yeah, right. yeah. I think Wendy's well, is the worst. Projectile vomits. <laughs> That's good. You can taste the square for sure. <laughs> That's what I was saying. The square really adds flavors to those corners. Happen. Wendy's was a real surprise hit here. This bad boy really came in and slapped my cheeks when I wasn't expecting it. I was actually shocked by the quality of the meal. Maybe I just got a really good burger from Wendy's where the chef kissed it with like some nice lipstick on or something to bless the burger. I don't really know, but it was a really solid burger. The whole meal was, and by the whole meal, I mean the burger and the nine fries I got. So I, I'm just going to have to give Wendy's an A tier. She can absolutely keep talking shit on her Twitter because she's definitely above the other ones so far. Unless, of course, PDQ learns what technology is and starts tweeting. Be my first Five Guys meal in a decade or so. You're going to love it. I'm four fast food, or three fast, four fa how many fucking fast food meals deep am I? I think we're four. four. This is yeah. your fifth. Okay. Optimal. Well, our fifth. Wow, these fries look great. They're really good. You did not overhype those. They're very hot. But very good. Oh, very hot. <laughs> oh, there's like grease pouring out of it on my tongue. Just flavor. This is so fucking hot. Oh my god. They just made it. Here, I'll hold it in front of the air. Yeah, thank you. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, bl blast that bad boy for me. Just gonna bun fly something. It's Charlie. Not one spot is gonna be cold. Yeah, that's all I need. I'm gonna cool off a fly for myself too, so. Not really a cross section. Oh, that is, yeah, that looks like a lovely burger. It's a nice burger. Yeah. There you go. Oh, that's a, is this a double patty? It is, that's the regular. Woo! Two for the price of two, baby. What do you think we are, amateurs? Wow. That's a burger. That'll put hair on your chest right there. In response to this, I'm dropping Wendy's to a B. <laughs> this burger is much better. Mm. Yeah, I don't have any complaints. It's just really good. Yeah, wow. I told you. Yeah. It's amazing. You don't want to waste that one, do you? It's a great burger. Yeah. Can we all just share it so I don't <laughs> get a waste? I still, how many more fucking fast food places do we have? Oh, five guys. I'll give an S tier. That's really good. Let me just, let me just take a bite off the back. Mmm, nice. good bite. It's an S for me too. Let me let me have a fry. Sorry, I won't rate it yet. It's an S. <laughs> nice. Mm. Big bite. I even saw some saliva strings coming mm. off. He was salivating for that. I'm guys so good. We're all gonna be shitting good tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. S tier shits. Good. They even crinkle cut their pickles. Yeah. Look at that. Are they crinkle cut pickles? They, they are. are, yeah. Take a look. And not a single detail missed. Oh, baby. Yeah, Five Guys, again, is a place we cheated at. There is no number one, so we just got the most basic meal and called it a number one. We just felt like we'd be doing the fast food tier list a disservice if we didn't have Five Guys on it. So definitely needed to rate that. I personally hadn't had it in about a decade, and even a decade ago I wasn't a massive fan. But a decade ago I had a boy's tongue. Now I came back with a man's tongue, and I thought it was great. Yeah, I, I definitely think S, S tier for Five Guys is deserved, and definitely does live up to the hype. I've been very vocal about my opinion of Chick-fil-A being overrated. 
and just to prove a point, I still think it's so fucking plain. It's just a blank piece of chicken and two pickles. Watch. Two pickles. Every time. I don't think that's enough flavor, but the chicken is good. I just feel like it's really overrated. Oh. Pretty good. That's <laughs> all I ever have to say about it. And the fries. I actually like the fries, though. Probably the best waffle fries. I still firmly stand by my opinion that Chick-fil-A is remarkably overhyped for what you actually get. I will stand on this hill and jerk off on it till the end of time. The chicken is good, yes. The fries are good, yes. But why is it worshipped and hailed as the second coming of Christ in a fast food restaurant? It is just pretty good. It's not even great. I don't know why people lose their fucking mind about it and rave about it, about how eating a chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A changed their life. Yeah, I was kind of a loser and an outcast until I had one chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A, slimmed out my cheeks, made my jawline thicker and more defined, and all of a sudden, I was the popular kid in school and made varsity on the football team, all thanks to the chicken sandwich. I don't get it. It is one slab of chicken and two pickles every time, like clockwork. Yes, you can add sauces to it, and the sauces are good, but it's still a very, very plain meal. Like, super plain. So I'm doing it. I'm doing it right now. Go ahead and get ready on your keyboards, because it's coming in hot. I'm giving Chick-fil-A a B tier. I was going to go C tier, but that's a bit of a disservice, because, like I said, it is good stuff. So, I mean, that's already better than most fast food places. It's just the hype train is way too extreme for this place. <laughs> How are we doing? Doing fine. I'm just, I'm just so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Just not enough calories yet. So hungry, it's gonna make you throw up. Yeah. Oh, God. I feel like every time I'm recording Charlie in a car, like like with the police thing, it's him almost puking. I know. I, I, oh my God, I'm gonna fuck. I, I have to fart so bad, but I feel like I might just shit. <laughs> this is a disaster. Yeah, at this point in your life, you should have more control over which one's gonna I, happen. I've never eaten seven fast food restaurants in an hour. I don't know what's coming out. That's fair. We've created a monster. Yeah, by this point, the fast food was really starting to sink in and just f take over. I felt like I was suffering from fast food poisoning. It was absolutely brutal. I felt miserable. And to top it all off, I was about to go to my least favorite fast food place ever, Burger King. So I think you want a number one? Yeah, uh, ask for a Wait, few do they not <laughs> It's a Whopper. It's a Whopper? Yeah. Oh, it's huge. Sanitize me. Let's get it. Let's fucking get it. Speed run. Damn. Burger King, I think, is the foulest fast yep, food. Yeah, so the worst for last. Yeah, at least we're finishing off with this. <laughs> <laughs> it just smells fried. The fries look good. Very hot. Hmm. Good. They've refined the recipe. They, Burger King fries used to be good, like in 2002, and then I don't know what happened. Someone took over and took a shit in the recipe, but now they're better. That was a good bite. Um, fat fry. Yeah, they're it's very fluffy. They're very meaty. Hmm. God, one more. It's like real potato. No, this is like actual potato right here. Hmm. Oh wow, there is a lot of a that's lot like, of moving parts here. That's like a frisbee. You've got a whole onion on this side. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I lost the onion. That's probably for the best. I like onions. Yeah, that's bad. That's not very good. That's not very good. The burger feels simultaneously overcooked and raw. <laughs> it's like this weird Schrodinger's meat. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a lot better than I was expecting. Like, I used to think people only went to Burger King to either, like, sell drugs or, like, kill somebody, but... Looks like there's actual food there. The fries are good. This is not great, but not terrible.
terrible. I wouldn't order it again. I can't take another bite. I don't know that I want to take a bite. We just get, we just get after it. All right. I'll just and then go. don't move the car for the next hour. <laughs> <laughs> the flavor is not horrible but the texture is not not very good i thought i was drinking water that was coke so that was a nice surprise don't do it i'm trying not to this is a loader there's so many bags of fast food <laughs> it. it's so motion sick and fucking grease sick i have like grease poisoning Whatever that is. Oh my god. I'm trying to drive really smoothly. <laughs> yeah, it feels like it. <laughs> oh, there's a subway there for next time. Quick, we need their number one. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, I'm, not I'm bringing you home. I can do more. It wasn't nearly as bad as I remembered it being. Maybe Burger King has improved over the years. It's still not great. It's still probably the worst one I had that day but it really wasn't as insulting to my mouth as I expected it to be. I thought I was going to take a bite of the burger and it'd be like biting into pure fucking salicylic acid. But there was flavor there, there was an attempt made to make a burger, and it, I could taste it, you know? It just wasn't the best taste in the world. I'm just going to give Burger King a C tier. It's not a place I'd be rushing to go back to, but if I was, you know, really desperate for food and the only thing that existed in the area was a Burger King, I would at least feel satisfied that I got some nutrients. And uh, yeah, uh, after eating all of that fast food, and I ate most of it, I finished most of the meals, it was absolutely fucking terrible. It was a not, a not a great experience, but I did it for the sake of the tier list. There is a chance that that could have skewed some of the results because of how like miserably full I was for some of the later ones. But uh, for now, this will still stand as the official number one fast food tier list. That's it. See ya.